right, guys, so I'm gonna go over velocity-based training, or VBT. Now, stay tuned, because after I go through this, we're gonna get out to the weight room and get after it with the Proteus. Now, what is VBT? The objective for it is to focus on the actual speed of the movement rather than the actual load. We're also gonna be giving you real-time feedback to establish and direct all the adaptations necessary for whatever you're trying to accomplish. So, the focus points. We wanna use measurements that have high carryover, solidify the directed adaptations to the imposed demands. That's the said principle. So we're gonna make sure that not only are we doing the movements that are gonna correlate, but also the speed, the velocity, that is gonna correlate over into the sport itself. Third is to maintain consistency throughout each set. We can utilize the velocity monitor to showcase our intent and our intensity throughout the entire set. The studies have shown that VBT can be effective for increasing strength, power, and especially in power-based sports. I work a lot with combat sport athletes and boxing, mixed martial arts, so this is very important to understand exactly how well they're able to produce force fast and do that in a timely manner. VBT uses exercises to to inform or enhance the training practice. Now, if you are a fighter, specifically who I work with, when you're able to produce rotational power, that's gonna carry over into your effectiveness and the success of your fight game. It can be implemented with percentage-based training. It also helps us to auto-regulate. So if we see an athlete that's not up to par, or let's say they come in and they're a little fatigued, we can auto-regulate the training based upon the velocities that they're giving us from their baseline. All right, let's go over the velocity zones. Now this was popularized by Dr. Brian Mann, and he came up with this particular protocol and zone of training based upon the specific or special strengths that you're trying to acquire. The special strengths are going to be starting strength, which is gonna be roughly around 10 to 20% of your one rep max. Now that's gonna be about 1.3 meters per second. Then you move on over to 30 to 40% of your one rep max, and now we're working more speed strength. That's gonna be your dynamic effort. 50 to 60%, now you're starting to work into strength speed, where you're trying to move high loads as fast as possible. It's gonna be around one meter to 0.7 meters per second. Now accelerated strength is gonna be something that you're gonna do to start to gain more strength overall. If this is something that you're lacking or missing, this is what you wanna work on. So 70 to 80%, 0.75 to 0.5 meters per second. And then lastly, you're gonna go into absolute strength. This is your maximal effort work. This is how you're gonna be able or work into creating as much force as humanly possible. 90 to 100%, and this is gonna be below 0.5 meters per second. This is your max effort for work. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead, get out to the weight room and put this to action. Let's do it. We went through our dynamic warm up first, which is increasing range of motion, increasing that neural efficiency, get their central nervous system primed and ready to go for the work ahead. All right, by the prowlers. All right, it's high knees, ready? Go. Come on, come on. Good, good, good. Quick off the ground, quick off the ground. Quad stretch, all right? Pull the foot. Drive the knee down, all right? Don't let the knee flare out and squeeze the glute. So we're here, hip in, hand in front, then bring it forward, all right? Two steps in between. Hold, bring it forward, all right? Let's do it. Three each side. All right, butt kicks, come on, right here. Quick, 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 quick. Go. Balls to your feet, 10 yard line. All right, let's go heel toe. All right, heel toe, right here, drive up, full extension. Drive up, full extension. Go to the five yard line, and then you're gonna give me a pop at the five. So we're here, up off the ground, up off the ground. Good, okay, going back, stay right here, stay right here, heels only. Bend the knees slightly and cycle it through. Keep the toes pointed forward, let's go. Keep toes up, keep the toes up, toes up, toes up. Then we went into our plow metric and power drills where we're doing different jumping and skipping and hopping patterns just to allow them to be more athletic and get that tendon stiffness built in. We do this pretty much all year round. All right, pogos with a point. So here, point, point, all right? Go to the five and then go pogos with a, uh, with a tap. So you're here, tap, tap, all right? Ready, go. Good point. Now flex. Flex, flex. There you go. There you go. All the way down. All the way down. And relax. Good, all right? Big step out. 
keep the knees wide, right? We're stepping, replace, step, replace. Toes can be slightly turned out. Step, 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 step. Go to the five and then bring it back, all right? Let's go. Stay low, open up the hips, open up the hips. Drop the hips down, drop the hips down. Look, she's salsa dancing and shit. All right, stay low, we're pushing off, right? This is a short shuffle, so we're here, staying low. Quick feet, quick, 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 quick. Stay low, stay wide. Ready? Go. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. Going forward now, right? Give me a double bounce, A skip, okay? So we're bouncing, bounce, drive, 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 all right? Good, good, slam the foot down. Good, backwards, go, change direction. That's it, that's it, okay. Face the wall, bend the knees slightly, power push, replace. Push, 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 all the way to the 10 and back. All right, let's get quick skips now. Quick off the ground. Left and right is gonna come down and you're gonna replace. So it's here, coming up, drive, 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 drive. Go. There you go, there you go. Relax, good, okay, jog it back, jog it back. All right, give me power now, up for height. You're gonna land on that same leg, yep. Let's go, get up there, get up there. There you go. Good, 45 degree push. Shuffle first, and we'll go push. So we're gonna be here, turn the hips, stay low, quick, 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 quick. One at a time, one at a time. Good, quick, quick, good. Come on, shuffle sideways. Double bounce, push off, right? Double bounce, push, push, push. Good, open the hips. Reach, reach, good, reach. That's it, reach, power, power. Get out there. All right, here we go. We're gonna go bounding, vertical, and then flow. As soon as you hit the ground though, redirect force. I still want you to come down on a, on a counter movement. So you're gonna come up, boom, drop, boom, drop. You're just drifting, you're not jumping to get distance, right? You're getting up for height and letting your body drift forward. Hit it, hit it, up, up. Good, just like you're gonna jump in on, a, on a box. All right, now listen, going sideways, same thing, you're just drifting. Ready? Go, drop. Get up for height, get up for height, get up for height, get up for height. All right, we're gonna go rotation now. Start facing forward, we're gonna go 90 degree turn. So you're gonna turn, face the wall, turn back, facing forward. Boom, up, stick, up, stick, up. Control your body. Don't think about going forward, you'll, you'll let your body drift forward. Turn your hands in. There you go, there you go, relax, good, good. Then we moved on to the Proteus where we did speed strength working at a five by four each side. So we did five total sets, four reps each, and we're only resting about 15 to 20 seconds, so it's in and out. All right, so the great thing about Proteus and velocity-based training is that you can use this device and the machine through multiple planes of motion. So we can not only get velocity for sagittal plane motion or frontal plane motion, but also the transverse plane, which is very important for combat sport athletes in that rotational plane, because that's where all of our power is gonna be produced when you're talking about striking and takedowns. All right, so now we're gonna work into our speed strength, which is gonna be the dynamic effort portion of the workout. We're gonna work through the transverse plane, working through rotational power, we're gonna stabilize and create torque with the feet by cranking down and just stabilizing there. We're not gonna rotate or pivot the foot. I just want rotation through the trunk. So I'm gonna go on freestyle mode. Then from there, the velocity is set where we wanna go. So we're training that speed strength range. I'm gonna go ahead and go up and down on the resistance based upon the individual, right? Jake's gonna go first. He's gonna get in a squared up stance, shoulder width. So that hand over hand, the elbows are tucked in. We're not flared out. We're not gonna punch out. We're we're just using this as a guide. This is stuck in place as the body rotates. Give me four each side, okay? So it'll be eight total. Starting off at 10 resistance. Go when you're ready. Rest, good. All the way up to 0.25. So if he gets higher than that, I'm gonna up the intensity, or I'm gonna up the resistance. I wanna stay between 0.75 to 1.25 meters per second. If any point of that going higher, like if it was at 1.6, then we know that we need to increase the resistance to bring down the velocity to get the stimulus adaptation that we're trying to acquire for power production. Since they both are very powerful, 
we have to increase the resistance. I'm also looking at form. That's the biggest thing. Not just looking at the numbers, we also have to look at the foundational movement pattern that they're doing so that one, we can stay consistent with our movement and also we're not taking away from the specific movement of their sport, but we're also getting the adaptations from a speed perspective. All right, let's do it. Next up, let's go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Rest, 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 good. So it's over 1.25, go up, go up a little bit more in the resistance. All right, we're gonna go up to 15 for Jake. Rest, good. That was way higher. So now, since he went over the allotted velocity, we're gonna increase the resistance. Again, going up from 15, I'm gonna move him up to 20. We got Maureen back on, she's gonna go ahead and do 12. So we got eight total, eight total reps. Ready, go. Good, relax, relax. Blow it out. You guys are holding your breath. Don't hold your breath. Eight total. Go ahead. Hit it. Good. Way higher. Way higher. All right, so 0.6. We're going to have to go a little, probably going to have to go all the way up to 35 for that. Our people got power. All right, get it going. Good, good. That's 18 resistance. We'll probably go 20 at that point. Got the shit. Come on. Good, good. Another thing about velocity-based training is it allows for the individual to have more intensity based upon what they see, right? So it gives them the confidence, it gives them the competitive nature that they need to increase their, their intent. All right, here we go. Good, that's 25. So. Keep your feet down. Right? Make sure that you stay consistent with your movement and you don't compensate either because now you're, you're moving your feet, right? So you're using extra motion that we don't want to have. Let's do it. Good. Average was 1.7. Ready? Eight rips. Go. Good. Good. That's right there. So right around 0.25, 0.30. Good. Go up a little bit higher than that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch up your stance now, okay? So what I want you to do is stagger, right? So we're gonna come here, rotate through, rotate through. So now you gotta stabilize the body. Get the back heel off the ground. This one's gonna be tougher because now you have to stabilize and still stay powerful. Yeah, yeah give me five on one side, five on the other. Two, 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 five. Good, switch it up. Yeah, which one felt weird? This one. Yeah. I'm a softball. Yeah, exactly. Then we went into the transverse plane again with an oblique sling. So we simulated an uppercut using that oblique sling, driving from the hip to the outer extremity. That's gonna be five sets of four reps each. Again, 15 to 20 seconds rest. Load the hip, drive up, boom, come back down. Boom, come back down. We're gonna do four each side. Pull the elbow in tight, elbow in tight, and then boom, drive it through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bring it back down. Yep. Good, right there. Switch up. All right, good. Just don't extend it too far. Get it to the shoulder. Now drop. Yeah. Do it again. Yeah. Good. Good. One more. Good. Switch it. Good. Okay, don't bring the elbow too far back. Keep it in the hip. And then, boom, power through. That was good, though. Come on. There you go. There you go. Hips. Good. Drive your glute through. Yeah, that's it. Right? You see the difference? Yeah. See the elbows behind you? You got to get an anchor point. Yeah, now, from there, drive it through. Yeah, that's it. Do it again. Look at that shit. Do it again. Good. That was 2 0. Do it again. Good, two, seven. Go, good, hip, there you go. Good, back down, good, relax. All right, point two, four, point two, four, good. Yep, right there, yeah, good, good. Try to go faster from this position as opposed to this position. You're getting good here, but I want you to get fast from start to the mid-range. They initiate it from the hip first. Hip first and then the arm follow. Yeah, there you go. Do it again. 
Yeah, again. Fast. Hip. There. That's it. One more. All right, good. So we're gonna work our press variation. So it's a foundational pattern. Um, it allows us to get an end range, especially for boxers, the end range of their strikes, right? So as they turn over their punches, you wanna get the triceps involved, and you wanna get the anterior delts involved. So it's gonna be important, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and press for strength, 0.75, and then we'll start the training, all right? I changed the attachment here. So now they're just gonna do a variation of a press. That's it, all right, let's do it. You're gonna go for five reps, all right? Then uh, 10 band pull-aparts, right back and forth. So start and then go again. That was cool. Right. Yep, bring it back. Nice. Good. Good. Yeah. Good. 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 Okay, right there, right there. All right, try to lift. Okay. All right, so here. Boom. That's it. And then pull it back. Don't worry about pulling yeah. it back. Just here. Send the balls to your feet a little bit. Turn the hip, turn the hips in. Punch. Good. Yep. There you go. Good. Okay. There you go. That's it. Okay. Good. 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 Okay, good, relax. Let's go, one more. Punch. Good. Stop it. Stop it fast. Keep it tight, last sight. Stop it fast. Good. Go. Good. One more. Okay, relax. We're changing up the attachment. We're gonna move into our conditioning portion. So we're gonna go ahead and do a prowler push into a snap down. So they're gonna be doing a full body movement and then into another full body movement. So we're gonna do this interchangeably. So it'll go one and the other. This is more of the high intensity interval training that we're looking to do. So we got five total sets. They're gonna go 20 yards down with the prowler. And then however long it takes for them to get 20 yards down is however long they're gonna be doing the snap down. So roughly, I would say maybe eight to 10 reps is what we wanna see. Come in here, up, snap. Drop down. Ready? Come on, go. Come on, go. Quick. Two, two, three, two, four. Come on. Five, keep going. Six, come on. Seven. Run it down. Get that plate off. Get that plate off. Go, switch up. Let's go, right into it, right into it. All right, 10 reps. Let's go. Quick. Snap it down. Up and down. Let's go. Quick 10. Four, drop your hips. Come on. Uh -huh. Six, come on. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, good. I'm used to this shit. Come on, quick. Come on, snap it down. There you go, that's it, now we're in the range. Speed though, speed, speed, speed. Good. Good, come on, back up, go. Good, again. All right, let's do it. Jake, quick, quick ten, quick ten, go. Two. Come on. <laughs> At the moment, I'm just looking for work done. Like, and I want to see her her position be on point. I just want to see movement, and I just want to see her get the, the foundation movement down, and, and also, obviously, keep it going. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Don't think about, just come here and just get, just get volume. Volume, volume, volume. You got to stop it. You got to stop it. Yeah, you got to stop it better. Yeah. Come on, let's go. One more. Shit. Speed, 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 speed. That's it, good. Quick, quick, quick. Transition, transition. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. That's it, go. Go. Good. 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 Let's go. Come on. Turn it. Leg drive, leg drive, leg drive. Good. That's it, good. Relax. Last one, Memorial Goat. Finish. 
Turn it. Girl, relax. Okay. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. You've seen the Proteus in action, velocity-based trainer. If you want to check it out, go to ProteusMotion.com. And if you want to check out any of my videos, you can go ahead and see me on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.